as lockdown and restrictions are easing around certain places in the world. Some people are struggling and finding it extremely difficult to adjust back into normal life and their normal routines. Some people within the mental health field are concerned COVID-19 anxiety syndrome is going to be the next mental health crisis. But what exactly is COVID-19 anxiety syndrome? According to a paper that appears in Psychiatry Research, which was published in October 2020, a professor from Kingston University outlined the characteristics of COVID-19 anxiety syndrome as avoidance, compulsive symptom checking, worrying, and threat monitoring. This syndrome manifests as the inability to leave the house because of COVID fears frequently checking for symptoms, despite not being in a high-risk scenario, and avoiding social situations or people. It's noted that people with this syndrome tend to experience increased PTSD, general stress, anxiety, and health anxiety. Researchers have suggested that in some people, the isolation, fear of contracting the virus, and uncertainty during the pandemic may have led to the collection of symptoms that make up this new syndrome. They also noted that people with OCD tendencies may also be at more risk. According to a study that appears in Frontiers in Psychology, several other factors may place a role in whether a person is at risk for COVID-19 anxiety syndrome, they include the following. A low tolerance to uncertainty, media coverage and misinformation on social media, and the use of fear to promote compliance. If you're currently struggling with COVID-19 anxiety syndrome, here are some tips on how you can cope with it. Consider seeking out positive messages around improvements in the pandemic such as the vaccine rollout and declining numbers of people contracting the virus. Take things slowly and gradually at your own pace. Continue using hand sanitizer and wearing disposable gloves. Explain your feelings of anxiety to somebody you trust and be mindful of social media and news reports that could trigger your anxiety. If you're currently struggling with your mental health or you're struggling with COVID-19 anxiety syndrome, please consider seeking the help of a mental health professional who can help you. If you're anxious or if you're worried about seeing somebody in person or face-to-face -to, -face to seek help, you can click the link in the description box down below and visit our sponsor to speak to a mental health professional online who can properly diagnose you if you've never been diagnosed before and begin to help you with whatever it is you're currently feeling or going through. You can do that by clicking the link in the description box down below. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section. Are you currently struggling with this COVID-19 anxiety syndrome? What is making you anxious or what are you worrying about due to this pandemic? Please let me and others know in the comment section down below and let's show others here in this community that they're not alone. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed to Authentic Mental Health to join a community of like-minded people just like yourself. Thank you for watching guys and girls. Take care and I'll see you all again in another video.